It's so cool to see so many students in the audience because it's summer and you're having fun, but there's one place where you can't get lazy and it's in the kitchen. Please welcome Marilyn Smith with some rules you might want to consider when it comes getting to lazy. Well, when you get lazy, you just you cross contaminate and things can get really bad. Really bad, yeah. I've right? had food poisoning quite a few times. Ooh, me too. And it's, it's awful. And it's you know, worse. it is like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's vomiting and diarrhea. It's horrible. It's awful. And yeah, sometimes it doesn't terrible. happen right away, so you can't even pinpoint where it got. So right. the best thing is to start in your own home and follow these food safety rules. And uh, as a professional home economist, it's kind of my thing, right? And you know I, your stuff. I, I see people doing wrong things, and I go, don't, don't eat that. Don't touch that. Anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> You're fun okay. at a party, aren't oh, you? Oh, I'm a riot. Anyway. Get your hands off that. <laughs> don't eat the food. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so first thing is you got to have all your counters clean. It's like a lab, right? Right. And I go into people's kitchens and I go, you're kidding me. Like, you're, you cook here? Oh, my God. Anyway, you can't so, come to my house. No, I, oh. <laughs> no you're never Bring coming me. over. Okay. No, I actually yeah. do like the clean counter. Clean counters. Yeah, it's big a thing. good thing. Taps the whole shebang, right? right? Okay, and then the next thing is washing your hands. And so I, I just use regular soap. I'm not a big fan of the antibacterial. I think it's an overkill. Yeah. And so, see, and the baby agreed with me. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> wash your hands really, really well. Sing happy birthday. Pretend you're on Grey's Anatomy. I don't know. But, do the scrubs. Before and after. Okay. And after. A lot of people forget that they remember the before, but they don't remember the after. That's true. Okay, because you've touched the food. There could have been some bacteria on it. You know, then you touch a door handle, and then your kid's sick the next day. It's you don't over. know why. Okay, good. All right, the next thing is that you have to have different cutting boards for different kinds of food. Right. All right, and so at home, I have a really big wooden cutting board that I use for fruits and vegetables because that's what I eat the most. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm chopping. And then I have a variety of ones. So you could have any of these for chicken, fish, or poultry. Or, or any kind of raw stuff that has, and I use it on a separate counter. So I don't oh, really? do it on top of this wooden one on my little uh, my kitchen. I go to the other counter and do that. So I'm not going to cross contaminate. And then you're going to wash these with hot soapy water after you're finished. Okay. Now people sometimes put them in the dishwasher, but those environmental um, they, it doesn't get hot enough anymore. So it's not really going to kill the bacteria that you need it to kill. No. So scrub this really really well with hot soapy water, rinse yeah. and air dry. Okay? Now we talked on our last three chef show mm -hmm. about washing the off with cold water if you're cutting peppers. Have you ever heard that? Because uh, no. if you wash it with hot water, it's, the, the, it's going to stay. stay. Okay, so stay. what I do is I get a lime. Yeah. Uh, so citrus or, or lemon or a lime, and you rub it on the cutting board, and it actually takes away all the all the hot. Oh. So and then I use the hot soapy water. Good stuff. Right there you go. Oh, okay. Stuff. Now the next thing is that people use these to wash their counters. Right. And this is a bacteria breeding ground. So don't use a sponge Bye. ever. Okay. It's so. Fun. You buy you buy uh, cloth uh, dishcloths and you put a new one out every single day. Can you use that to wash your dishes? No. Oh, never mind. No, bad. Because I've never done that before. No. I was just asking. Just asking I've seen other people, you've seen do, people that. do that. Right. It's I know. Terrible. Uh, it's a horrible thing. No, because Awful. Um, bacteria grows in in wet, in right. damp, and they they never dry out. Okay. And I, my my best girlfriend is going to watch this show, and I get to say this on TV. It doesn't kill the bacteria in your dishwasher unless you've got an old dishwasher and it superheats. Okay. All right, and they never dry out, so it's always bad. So don't uh -huh. use it. Okay. Okay. And then and clean tea towels all the time too. All those right, that's cute. really important. They're pretty. Yeah, I know they're really I nice. I like those. I like the colors. So be clean and wash those hands. Okay. And now say you've done a whole thing with chicken or fish or meat or something. So mm -hmm. you want to really make sure that you clean all your counters off because you know, say you touched it and then you did the drain, you know, the, the, the taps and yes. and then you, you wiped your hand on your pants and then right. you did the counter. You know, you could basically contaminate the whole kitchen. Right. So Health Canada says to make sure that you kill all bacteria to make your own kind of sanitizer. Okay. And so they say one teaspoon of bleach to 750 mils of water, which is three cups. Yeah. All right. And then you can use paper towels and you can just throw them away. But if you use a dishcloth with that, then you're going to throw that one away. Too. Well, not throw it away. You're going to put you're it in You're going to go wash it. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. That's a lot right. of towels you need to have. Well, and you know a what? Lot of rags I got these at Loblaws. They were really inexpensive. They're, yeah. they're cotton. Just, you know, I, I have multiples. So right. You, I always got a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now when, you, when you're Old taking... Old underwear. Oh, That's what you can there's do. an right? idea. <laughs> That's I a genius idea. Yeah, right? Socks. The one sock. Your old clothes. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> My mom okay. would do. There you go. Oh, see, now we're all using our, you know, our reusable bags, mm -hmm. but they get junk in them too, and yeah, nobody ever do. thinks to wash them out. So you have to wash them out. And the other thing that I want to talk about washing is nobody remembers this: is that you should wash hard stuff if you're going to cut it. I didn't know that. Cantaloupes, watermelon, anything that's got you're going to cut through that you don't want the bacteria. Oh. Okay. So okay. that's some of the cleaning things. So now Good. the next thing.
thing we're going to talk about is chilling. You got to put stuff in the fridge. Right. And how to save your food better. And I thought this was a really genius idea that Loblaws has is they vacuum seal their meat because Smart. it's going to extend the, the 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 length of that you can keep it in your your refrigerator. You still have to put it in the fridge. Yes. Or the freezer. Yes. But you can put it in there longer, keep it fresher. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you can do your own thing with this thing called a food saver. It's like a new toy. Yeah. It's really fun. And what you do is you buy stuff in bulk and then label it, and then you, you're going to put it in the machine, and it sucks all the air out. And it, so with the less air you have, it actually extends it. So we're going to do it with cheese. Okay. So this is a big piece of cheddar cheese that I bought at at uh, that you know massive. That am I going to eat that? Well, I could, but anyway. Or, um, or, but if you're yeah. buying, if you're buying like that huge block of yes. salmon, yeah. That huge block of cheese. Exactly. If you're someone that's sitting living on your own, or even a family of four, you can't get through it that quickly. It's going to go bad it's before go you can get bad. through it. And look so what happens. It. it sucks all the air out. It's so cool. So now hang on. Oh cool. no, it turned itself off because I turned it off. So here you go. It's gonna. It's really fun. Okay. You stick it in there until it grabs. Okay, it's not grabbing because I it turned. Oh no, oh, there they did. You go. Oh, shut up. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I did it wrong. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I pulled it out. This sounds kind of like a breast pump, don't you think? Yes, anyway, it does. Yeah. Yeah. That's Anybody in the audience, if you're lactating, right okay, right on. That. Yeah, the, the, the ladies will help you. Anyway, okay, well, that's. And I had the double duty, you, right? Oh. The double breast pump. Oh, you did? Gets the job done. Wow, I remember sitting in a bathroom crying with my breast pump on, oh, you know, yeah, at a honey. party. I anyway, hear you. you okay. want to give it a go one more time? Okay, here goes. All right, it's going to do it. So it grabs it, it is sucking all the air out. It's like magical. That's so cool. Long. I wish I could do this on my butt. Wouldn't that be great? Anyway, like, That'd oh be my awesome. God, you have such a small butt. Yeah. Yes, if they could just do that for cellulite. This is a great idea. Put your anyway, thigh right well, in there, there's right? this. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, and then when the red light comes off, it seals it, and uh, it's it's awesome. It's like my new favorite toy. Here it comes. Look. Oh. oh. Cheese for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah. And the trick is put the to date on it. Put the date on. And then this will extend it to about six months wrapped up like this. Ooh, that's so good. I put the date when I did it, and then I put the plus six so that I would remember. Smart. Okay, so Very you know. Good.